Rising stones? Hmm. Still no word for Master Garland. I hope this mana cutter of theirs is nearing completion. I'm assured that her grace will make a full recovery. Aye, and old Odd too shall flourish once more. General Rawbon and his colleagues have matters well in hand, I believe. Lady Yugri, a question, if I may? I believe your people have been keeping a close watch on the Crystal Braves. Might you know how things stand at the Rising Stones? Ah, yes, of course. But we're pleased to know that the 3rd Unit Braves abandoned Revenant's Toll when they learned of Captain Ilbert's defeat. The only blue uniforms to be seen there now are those worn by soldiers loyal to you, Master Alfino. To me? Grateful to hear that at least some of our members were true to their oaths. Ere we return to Ishgard, I must go to the Rising Stones and thank these stalwarts for their service. It shall be my final act as Crystal Brave Commander. Will you join me, Archon? You were there at the company's inception. It is only fitting that you be present at its end. And I would appreciate the support. They return to the Rising Stones? Commander, you're alive! Archon too. I knew you'd scrape through. My splendid Crystal Braves, I've wronged you. All of you. My promises of glory and salvation have brought you naught but blood and betrayal. <laughs> bah, you'll not hear us complaining. It was a sight messier than expected, I. We were still fighting for the freedom of all, just like we swore. Ain't that right, mates? Aye. Humble me. Truly blessed to have such steadfast comrades. It is with the most profound regret, then, that I must... That's enough of that, Commander. We know what you have a mind to say, and we ain't having none of it. To talk to oversee. And we all agreed. You can take our uniforms and strip us of our ranks, but we won't be no less of a company. Crystal Braves. Crystal Braves may be finished, but the ideals upon which the company was founded live on. They bind us to each other and to you. Commander. Alfino. My minds are made up, so you may as well get used to it. Let us help the Scions. Let us help you find Minfilia and the others. Oh yeah, they're still missing. Right. Friends. After all that has happened, I, I know not what to say. I'm disbanding the Crystal Braves. Yeah, fuck you, kid. <laughs> Ain't no disbanding shit. Pray, excuse me. Thought my tears spent. Grandfather used to say that one could measure a man by the cons constancy of his comrades. 
My happy day, I'm the exp exception which proves the rule. Nay, do not protest. I know that I'm not worthy of their loyalty, Archon. But Astaliak is my witness. I shall do everything in my power to earn it. It's cute that you think you're in charge. I must speak of future plans with the remaining braves. Any information we uncover on the missing scions will need to be shared with our allies across the realm. Specifically, Moriyanje in the Waking Sands and Tataru in Ishgard. While we are organizing our various channels of communication, I would ask that you call upon Master Garland at the main factory. I will join you in Ishgard as soon as I am able. How long ago was that? Are you just waking up after that? That was more than an hour ago. <laughs> Have a nice nap, Basil. Uh, back to Ishgar. What's that? Oop. I got a new skill. First window. Okay. Naps are always a struggle, man. Like... Will this nap make me feel better? Will it make me feel worse? Will I wake up in 20 minutes? An hour? 37 days? Who knows? That's it. Oh, God. How in the seven hells do you do it? I was just about to send for you. Nope, nope. 1.4 hours. 1.5 hours is straight out. If you had said three, I would have made a holy hand grenade joke. But... Yeah, but this moment completed the Manicotter's first successful test flight. A few minor adjustments and she'll be ready to go. While we see to the finishing touches, you might want to vi pay a visit to Fortomp Manor. A dragoon by the name of Estinian was looking for you. Estinian, you're supposed to be standing guard. You were given one job. Okay, two jobs. You fulfilled one of them, not the other. You could job on the not attacking Nidhogg by yourself. Well done. You, you deserve a commendation for that. Really, you do. Thank, thank you. But uh, the other one. Didn't do the other one, which is stay there and watch. You better have a good reason, sir. Yes, I would like to go inside, please. Justinian, what are you doing? Justinian, why are you here? You have fulfilled your own obligations to Old Dawns, then? Mr. Tataru has been keeping me apprised of the situation. Once I learned that these mana cutters of Master Garland's were nearing completion, I saw no reason to tarry in the mist, so you left because we're almost ready. Fine, 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 fine. For the present, Nidhogg seems content to remain in the area, plotting his revenge. Might this... my thoughts... Might not this be an apt moment to unfold our plans to Sir Emmerich? I think we might have kept him in the dark long enough. I don't wanna... He's gonna, like, tell me it's a bad idea or something. Come on, just let me go punch Nidhogg in the face. Why do I need permission from... Emmerich? I almost called him Ishgur. No. Perfect balance that just lets me do whatever I want. Mm, Sir Mark has been eager to speak with you. Pray proceed.
Vamp must be happy. Moogles and Emmerich in the same stream. All stands ready, Lord Commander. Ah, the moment has come then. Pray excuse my lateness. I paid a brief visit to the workshop to inquire about the mana cutters. The engineers assure me that they're ready. The area is now but a short flight away. Yet what a long and winding path we took to reach this point. Were it not for Master Alphino's proposal, we never would have attempted to parlay with the dragons. Though our negotiations yielded little, our expedition with Lady Isar taught us much. You took an unimaginable risk. I could scarce believe the tale Estinian told. Aye. It was a risk. It is true that many of our countrymen would sooner die than join hands with the heretic's mistress. But twas through that most unlikely of alliances that we came to speak with Reisvelgo. A conversation that went rather poorly, as I recall. Mm, I think it went fine. In this instance, the journey was more important than the destination. Had we not slain Nidhogg's consort, Tiamun, and put the Great Worm on his guard, the Dravanians would have arrived at Ishgard's walls long ago. Aye, that they would. Full grateful am I for every hour of respite your actions have afforded us. Thanks to you, our defenses are much improved. Tis but a pity they won't be enough. Thus, you believe an assault upon the area represents the city's best chance of survival. Is that not so, Astinian? I am under no illusions. Nidhogg's might is legendary. But with his eye in my possession, I can stifle his strength at the source. Victory will be hard won, even so. And I shall be glad indeed to have the Warrior of Light at my side. You shall have my blade as well. There are more of these mana cutters to be had, yes? Lord Commander, no! How can I, a proud knight of Ishgard, stand by and do naught while an outsider risks life and limb for our homeland? I swore an oath to protect this city. Pray leave the slaying of dragons to dragoons, Sir Knight. Your duty to command the city's defense is no less vital. Should we fail, and Nidhogg slip through our grasp, who then will hold the walls against him? Will you leave Ishgard in the hands of the Holy Sea's zealots? There are others. Who but you has the authority and the standing to orchestrate a city-wide defense? I do not, and neither does the Warrior of Light. That is why it is our place to fight, and yours to remain here, Lord Commander. What? You too, Master Alfino. By the fury. You have shown some promise, but this adversary is far beyond your skills. He's right, you know. Your candor is appreciated, Sir Dragoon. I shall remain then and cheer you from afar. Well, my friend. Would seem I have discouraged the last of the volunteers and claimed the task as ours alone. But if any alive can best this worm, tis surely we too. Out, Master Alphanote's pride, I fear. But had I been less forceful, the boy would have insisted on accompanying us to the Airy. But do not think me blind to his talent. With a few more campaigns under his belt, I have no doubt that Alphanote will make a fine field commander. 
but one does not practice on an adversary such as Nidhogg. She'll be hard-pressed enough without the added worry of carrying a novice. We have tarried long enough. Let us call upon Master Garland and take possession of the Mana Cutters. Mistaken, this will give us the airy. Talking to him. Archon, old friend. The cutters are ready when you are. Minor adjustments cost us a few sleepless nights, but we got there in the end. Which means you can get where you need to go. I tell you, these little beauties tear through that wind barrier like a sarmet drill through cottage cheese. That, my friends, is a Garland Ironworks guarantee. You have our thanks. Come, Warrior of Light. The Dread Worm awaits. Is that going to be the cue? Oh, are we going to have a cinematic first? Oh, that was a short cinematic. Okay. I'm going to do two things. We are going to queue up for the airy. We're going to head back to Mog Home. So while we wait for that queue pop, we are going to work on some of the quests in and around here. Specifically turning the quests in here. Yeah, very rude of it. Oh, we have a new quest here. Mockholm's upper layer is bathed in sunlight. That's why the Koopa trees grow lush and leafy. I could feel it look perfect in my garden. I don't want the best trees. That means the best Koopa nuts. Mogzia tends to the greener up top. Let's give me you can part with some. Five should be enough, Koopa. Many thanks, brave adventure. Finally, I can enjoy a bath without the smell of raw dragonfish assaulting my senses. Say, a dip in the waters might serve to uh, freshen you up as well, Koopa. Double for your thoughts. It's like in a weird spot. I need to find that last other monk was already equipped. 717 to the north. This is the last one, right? Yeah. So we gotta find the one and then do the... Do the airy, and then we'll be able to fly. Okay, northwest. North? How did I miss that one? Ah! 
Oh, I'm mostly just waiting for the area to pop. Apparently have our tank. There we go. I don't know why I'm still running. <laughs> 